we recently delivered a little sweetie pie, Luna, to her new mama in New York City. We flew through the night so little Luna could sleep along the way. She was happy as can be sitting in her travel crate under my feet. Such a happy little sweetie pie. Her adventurous life is about to begin and I am so happy for her. We landed at JFK in the morning and we're planning on taking in a few sites along the way. I'm always curious just how dog friendly each city is when I visit them and I had no idea what to expect with New York City. I made sure to have Luna in my little sling carrier the whole time. I wanted her to feel safe and secure. It's important that she gets to experience her first day in the big city as a positive experience. Our first adventure was the intimidating New York subway system. I can tell you firsthand that it's a bit confusing with the various lines, the northbound and southbound platforms. But what's not confusing is that New York Transit Authority welcomes and loves our furry companions. On to Greenwich Village and its cafes and art and music flair. And most importantly, lunch! We stopped at a highly recommended restaurant, Minetta Tavern. They allowed sweetie pies, but there were strict rules. Minetta Tavern had a very old New York charm and traditional ambiance. The burger was recommended and delicious, but James's lobster roll was also amazing. So dining in New York, dogs are allowed, but with restrictions. Our next stop was Washington Square, the heart of Greenwich Village and the famous Washington Square Arch. This park was a dog lover's highlight. There were doggos left and right. Most sweetie pies were on leashes. However, there was an off leash area as well. Washington Square Park is definitely dog friendly, where our sweetie pies are welcomed and loved. Our next stop was the High Line Park, and we were immediately greeted by this sign. Well, what can I say? High Line Park is a beautiful elevated park. It is built on the old elevated tracks of New York Central Railroad's West Side Line. I love when a city repurposes old industrial buildings and structures. It maintains the history of the old rail line and provides much needed access to nature. The High Line Park, although not pet friendly, does provide visitors a 1.45 mile trail along the west side of the city, above the hustle and bustle of the city streets. The old rail line served the meatpacking district of Manhattan, and the old industrial atmosphere is definitely part of the charisma of this elevated park. Is the High Line Park dog friendly? Only if you're sneaky! Well, right across from the High Line Park is another brand new park in New York City, the Little Island. 
It's an artificial island built on the remnants of Pier 55 along the Hudson River. The little island has lots of interesting interactive art to play with. The little island is 2.4 acres sitting on top of 134 concrete piers that look kind of like petals. And the views are amazing. But is this little island dog friendly? Well, again, only if you're sneaky. Well, it was time for Sunday brunch. I got the Lox Benedict and it tastes really, really good. What did you get, babe? Monte Cristo. The Monte Cristo. I have to try it and see if I like it. If it's as good as my bagel, then you might have to trade. Mm. Oh my gosh, that's so good. They have good food here. visited Central Park and it had to be dog friendly, right? Central Park is over 800 acres in the very heart of Manhattan. It was so huge that it would take several days to see it all and we only had a couple of hours. We noticed lots of dogs, along with musicians, artists, and just people out enjoying a Sunday stroll in the dead of winter. Central Park loves its doggos, and all are welcome. There's even an off-leash area for our furry little companions. Well, let's go on a carriage tour of the park. This beautiful horse is named Fantasy, and he took us all around the south end of Central Park. Our carriage ride around Central Park was a bit pricey, but worth every nickel. And best of all, the carriage ride was definitely dog friendly. At this point, it was time for a little cocktail, and so we ventured into the famous Plaza Hotel. This luxurious and historic hotel has a canine companion package just for our sweetie pies that includes their own treats, bed, and doggy bathrobe. Mm. Are you so beautiful? We were here just for a little Sunday afternoon cocktail. Cheers! So the Plaza Hotel welcomes all furry friends, if the price is right. The time has arrived. Luna was going to live with her new mama. She's almost here. Luna's new mama is a person of some prominence and preferred to remain anonymous. And she is delighted to provide Luna with her forever home. The remainder of our weekend was spent visiting various sites and eating our way through Manhattan without Luna. We took in a Broadway musical, which for obvious reasons would not be dog friendly. So no sneaking in. We saw the Book of Mormon by Trey Parker, Matt Stone, and Robert Lopez, located in the beautiful Eugene O'Neill Theater built in 1925. If you like South Park, you'll definitely love the Book of Mormon. And then we ate and ate and ate through the rest of our visit. <laughs> And Luna will get to spend the rest of her life in her new forever home in New York City. 
New York City, our sweetie pies are mostly welcome throughout the city. Thanks so much for watching our delivery adventure, and we'll see you guys next time on Sweetie Pie Pets. Bye-bye.